Hey guys, Jason here. So I was looking at this. Um, so I'm getting ready to put it all together. And one bolt's longer than the other bolt. And I was like, why is that? Yeah, okay. so, it actually comes with a de nice set of instructions and all kinds of warnings. And once again down here it says, uh, blade, don't tighten blade bolts more than five foot pounds of torque. Or the mounting handles will crack. But don't do that. You don't want cracked mounting handles. Anyway, back here, I was looking and I was like, oh, that's why one bolt's shorter than the other. Because they want their PMA to sit at a weird angle. But that, uh, I don't think that'll be very good for my roof mount. I mean, if you look down here, it's talking about strike proof safety so that their blades won't hit the pole um, so uh, I'm not going to I'm not using their blades I decided not to use their blades I'm just going to use the Raptors nine blade Raptors and so that means that I'm going to use the Missouri Wind and Solar um, spacers also and don't forget uh, I forgot on my little 500 see this little piece of steel here don't forget to paint that because <laughs> you'll see um, uh, that needs to be painted also so because it'll rust so uh, yep yeah, so and they oh whoops I'm bleeding again Dang it, I must have bumped one of those blades uh, but it talks about uh, breakers and or fuses and stuff so yeah it's a decent um instruction package that comes with it not bad talks about all kinds of stuff so uh anyway um yeah i don't want it angling upwards because when i'm mounted on the roof you know your roof's got a peak on it and the wind hits that peak and goes upwards and so if it's if the wind's coming at this angle and your PMA is sitting at this angle, you're going to be missing that wind. You know, I guess I could have used this and the thing wouldn't spin as good. And I can make videos about that saying, oh, look at it, it's not spinning as good. But no, I just want it to work. So, um, so in actuality, it, it would probably be better if they sent uh, two different styles, you know, maybe one long or you know two long bolts and the one short one just in case people wanted to mount it straight up and down uh, unless they're really worried about their blades hitting the pole um, anyway um, so I'm um, getting ready to put it together uh, I'll make more video in a little bit talk to you later hey guys so here I am um, I'm pulling the uh, my Missouri Wind and Solar Spacers and you see what I mean about don't forget to paint these so I'm going to clean these up, paint them uh, before I put uh, the Thermodyne together so uh, anyway here I am pulling them apart so I can use that it's a good thing I have this uh, laying around so I can take parts off of it and use them to make sure my Thermodyne works as best it can um, I'm going to go ahead and also use um, my 9 blade Raptor Generation 4's on it. I didn't really like that double thick bolt together hub so I'm going to use these and I'm going to use my tail since it's already all painted up and I don't have to paint their tail and their tail is like the same thing almost except for this tail just has a little bit different shape to it. It's and this tail is a little bit taller so I'm going to go ahead and use that tail too I know the thermodyne guy is probably getting all pissed off now but I don't I just want to make sure it works and I might not be able to get back up there on the roof not here this is that's my not this part that roof but anyway I'm showing I'm just showing you that the roof's not all icy right now or snowy so I can get up there and work on it and I might not be able to do that later on so I'm just going to put it up there with stuff that I know works. And uh, so 
so I can get the best performance out of this uh, thermodyne. So, uh, okay, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, mention something. Um, uh, I know a lot of people paint their PMAs. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, because you see in here, these... Uh, uh, the lighting's not very good. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit down there. The, the stator core, the coils inside there, they get hot or when these things are making power. It's like, uh, those stator cores get hot inside there. The um, PMA casing is a cast aluminum, I think, but it helps dissipate the heat and helps cool down your stator cores. And if you paint it, that acts like a blanket and it'll not dissipate the heat as easily it might help it's kind of yeah like wrapping it with insulation you know if you paint it so I don't paint mine I like to leave them like this so that they have the best cooling possible um, okay anyway um so I got my hardware here and everything I'm just waiting for those little spacer things to uh, paint to dry on those little spacer things and uh, anyway, so uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to start putting together um, the PMA mount part there that goes on the pole. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, well here it is you guys. It's all uh, put together and ready to go on the roof. I uh, just wanted to point out here, um, the bolts that go through here, you want to make sure you get these really, really tight. That's a really important part of your PMA mount. If you don't get it tight, it'll flex so you want those really tight other than that it went together um, just like the uh, uh, well like that one up there that's <laughs> so uh, my Missouri wind and solar up there so yeah pretty much um, it's like uh, pretty much the same thing I mean, I'm, I know I'm using the Missouri Wind and Solar Tail just because it was already painted and uh, stuff. But yeah, it just bolted right on there just like their tail would. So anyway, I'm going to uh, get this up on the roof and get it wired up. And um, I was looking at these things trying to figure out how they work. They look like they work okay. I don't know. We'll find out, you guys. So it's ready to go. Alright, talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, yeah, well, I guess with using two hands, it, I was able to get it in there, just pop it in there. So, okay, that's what I do there. Now, take your, uh, your 10 or 12 gauge wire, um, and you slide it up through the center here. And once again, this would probably be a lot easier if I was using two hands. <laughs> see if I can get these kind of together so I can go up and through here. And if I can get it up through this little hole here. There it goes. There we go. Okay. Let me grab it with my pinky. Here we go. So yeah, you take that and do that. And then uh, you get the angle that you need to go between there and these connectors and uh, I'll show you that in a little bit okay um, so here we go we got these these uh, weird connections um, I'm not sure good how good they are but uh, what you do is you uh, unscrew this little end off of here take that little end and you slide it over the wire See, once again, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. And plus, it's cold. So you take the wire, and you poke it in here, like so. You just poke the end of that wire in there really good. And then you tighten this down. It's got little threads on there. And uh, it kind of locks it into place. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, talk to you guys a little bit. Okay guys, now that you got all your wire connections on there and you make sure that they're nice and tight, 
what I do is I take a little bit of wire, come up and give it a little bit of a little bit of slack, and then I twist it around so that it makes sure that all the wire is on the back side of the PMA mount so that there's no way it could interfere at all with the uh, blades. And then you just tighten your clamp up here with your screwdriver when you get it located in the area where you want your wires at. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the next step I do. Alright, so now after you get your wire connection all done and you tighten this up, you don't need to tighten this super tight because you'll crush the wires and it might damage it. You just tighten it up enough that there's no slippage and it's nice and tight in there. I mean, so don't damage the wire by tightening. Now what do I do? Well, I take the other end of the wire here and I slide it down the pole, inside the pole. Now make sure you put your lower locking collar on before you do this. So you slide this down the pole and then what I do is I just lift the whole thing up and uh, kind of jiggle the wire and it, the wire will automatically slide down the pole because of gravity and then I just set the PMA and the mounting and everything all on top of this pole. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, now that I got that done, I'm going to you take your uh, locking collar, slip ring, this slip ring, you just slide it up against the bottom here. Um, you see I already got a lot of grease already on this pole because I was already using it for my little Missouri Wind and Solar 500 water. So anyway, slide this up. Uh, Let's see if I can do this. And then you just... Uh, <laughs> I can't see it very good. Okay, so here we go. And then you just tighten the uh, Allens. You don't have to make it really super tight or anything. And then you'll do the same thing up here. You just uh, take this. You can put it up towards the top or you can slide it towards the bottom. It don't matter. I like to just kind of put it on the top so that the pressure is uh, pushing from the PMA is pushing down and then that holds the um, the whole PMA and everything on your pole and gives it a nice uh, solid mount. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll put the blades on. Okay, well there it is you guys. It's all up here. It tracks really nice. I mean, you get these uh, set just perfect, and the thing really tracks nice. Well, it will track nice when the wind blows. Um, and you won't have to worry about it popping off the top of your pole at all, if anything should happen, because you got the top one on there. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit bummed that they didn't send locking colors with their... Uh, with it but oh well so here it is it's all on here no wind today but I think it's gonna be it's gonna be cool now I'll go inside the garage and hook it up and it'll be all ready to go just thought I would get you guys a shot from down here I think it looks pretty good Running the Missouri Wind and Solar 9 blade Raptors and the Missouri Wind and Solar Tail on it. So I think it looks pretty good. I think it'll do a good job. Um, so now that I got that up there, I probably never see the wind again in my area. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright guys. Remember all my uh, comments and everything. That's just my opinion. I don't know. You guys can make your own decisions and stuff. But I set it up this way just because it's my turbine. And I felt that this was how I was going to get the best performance out of it. Just my opinion. Alright. Thanks for watching guys.